in this cypress tutorial we are going to see assertions in the cypress test automation so firstly we will see what are assertions and what are the different types of assertions we have in the cypress automation testing and finally we will see all these examples with the real time web applications so let's understand what is assertions or what are assertions in the cypress test automation so assertions are used to compare the actual value and the expected value here actual value is nothing but the the text message which we are getting it from the web page and the expected value is defined by the testers and by using the assertions you can verify whether web element is displayed in the web page or not so these are the two main factors why we are using the assertions in the cypress test automation so let's look at the examples what are the different ways of assertions we can perform in the cypress automation testing the very first one is 2.equal so by using the 2.equal we can assert the actual and expected data so firstly i am using the cy.get that's a cypress command cy and followed by get so here we are adding the css selector followed by that we are using the then keyword and basically in this case we are converting this into the element by using this element so here i'm calling to the method called text so this will gets the actual text message from the web page once we are having the actual data so by using the 2 dot equal we are comparing with the expected value which is defined by the tester so this is the very first type of assertion in the cypress and next one is by using the have dot text we can validate the actual and expected results so similarly we are identifying the web element by using the css selector and i'm using the should keyword and inside this we are adding the have dot text so this particular have dot text will gets the text from the web page of this particular selector and it compares with the expected result so basically if these two values are not matching and it will throw the assertion error if actual value and the expected values are matching then it will pass the test case and similarly we have the contain and inside the should method we are specifying the contain and the expected value so it is almost a similar functionality we have by using the have dot text and contain so both the should method validates the actual and the expected results here and moving on to the next type of assertion in the cypress is b dot visible so in this case we are firstly getting the web element by using the selector and by using the should should keyword that's a method and simply we are adding the b dot visible so in this case we are not verifying the actual and expected result so simply we are validating whether this particular web element is present in the web page or not by using the b dot visible and the fifth assertion is have dot html so in this case we are using the should method and have dot html so this will gets the this particular web element text message that's a that's a actual value and here we are adding the expected value so basically it will compares the this expected value and the actual value if these two are matching so our test will get passed otherwise it will fail with the assertion error and next one is have dot attribute so in this case what we are doing is firstly we are identifying the web element by using the selector and we are comparing it by using the should method and then we are using another keyword here that is the and and followed by that we are using the have dot attr so here we are checking this particular web element is having the value as the another attribute or not if this particular web element has the value as attribute then in that case our test will get passed if this particular web element does not have the value attribute then our test will get fail and similarly so what we have done is in the next example we are using the have dot attribute and the include so here we are validating 
this particular web element is having the this particular value as an attribute then this particular attribute should have the this particular text message in it so this is what we are validating and the final one is two dot have dot length so in this case firstly we are identifying the web element by using the selector then we are converting this into the element type and once we are having the element so we are getting the text of the web element and here we are using the two dot have dot length so basically we are validating the number of characters are there in this particular element so in this case we are considering the javascript by tester stock that has the expected result so this has the 26 characters so by using this two dot have dot length you can verify the number of characters are there in the actual and expected results so let's go to the vs code and we'll see all these examples in the vs code with the real time web page examples so here i will quickly create one javascript uh, spec file so here i'll say cypress assertion test then i'll say cy dot js so that's it and here we will be creating the firstly test suit and followed by that we are creating the uh, test by using the it block so we are creating the describe by using the describe we are creating the suit first so let's add the suit name as cypress assertion suit so that's it guys now here i will put the comma and uh, here i will add the function so this is a shortcut for the function and that's it we have created the suit now so let's create a one test by using the it block so here i'll say it and here we will add the automation test name so here i'll say cypress assertion test and i will put comma and followed by that so here i will add the function so this is a shortcut for the function then i will open the braces and i will close it so that's it guys we have created the test suit by using the describe and we have created a sample test by using the it block now let's discuss the manual scenario then we will automate the scenario and we will assert assert the values by using all these different types of assertions in assertions in the cypress automation testing so let's discuss the manual scenario first in this google page i am searching with the javascript by tester stock so that's it so once we got the result so simply i'm taking the some part of the url and i'm opening another tab and i'm pasting it here so if we look at the this particular web page and in this text box so there is a text displayed that is called javascript by tester stock so in this case what we are doing is uh, we are going to this particular url and then we will identify this particular web element by using the css selector and we will get this particular text and we will assert with the expected value so let's go to this particular url and then we will identify this particular web element by using the css selector so here i will go to the vs code and let's open the url by using the cy dot visit in the single quotation specify the url so firstly we are going to this particular web page and then we have to identify the this particular text box where text message is displayed so simply i will right click on this and i will say inspect and if you see here here tag name is text area and it has lots of attributes and respective values so here i'm using the one attribute called type is equal to search so by using this attribute i am going to identify the this particular text web element so here i'll say control f and here i will add the first tag name text area followed by that in the square brackets 
I will add the attribute name and followed by the value. So if you look at this particular CSS selector, so it is matching with the one of one and it is already highlighting the this particular text box text text right so simply take this css selector then i will go to the vs code and here i will use the cy dot get so inside the get we will add the css selector and then so we are going to use the very first type of assertion called two dot equal so firstly we are identifying the element and then we are using then keyword and we are storing this web element text sorry web element we are storing into the element by using that element we are getting the text then we are comparing it with the expected result so now what i will do is simply i will call to the then keyword so here i'll say then dot then and inside the then so i will add the variable as element so it is a customized name you can give any name over here so that's it then add the function so that's it now inside this function i'm using the expect keyword followed by that i'm taking the element variable by using the element variable i'm calling to the met method called text so this is going to get the text of this particular web element and then we will compare by using the two dot equal so inside the equal we have to add the our expected value so simply i will copy it from the this web page and i'll paste it here in the form of string so that's it guys now if actual value and actual value and the expected values are matching then our test will get passed otherwise our test will be failing so i have saved this particular cypress test now i will go to the test runner so here i will select the spec file what we have created just now and if you see here so it is started executing the test and it opened the web page whatever we have given the url and our test is passing here right so it is comparing the this particular text from the web page and the expected result so then it is matching so it is get, so that's the reason it is getting passed so let's try to pass the so here i'll say just javascript tester stock so this time actual and expected value is not matching so in this case our test will get failed so let me rerun this particular cypress test So it has opened the web page and also it is failed. So it is trying to validate the actual and expected value. And if you see the error here, that is the assertion error. And basically it is displaying all the expected and actual values over here. So what is what is what is the value it is coming from the web page and what is the value defined by the tester? So this is a one way of comparing the actual and expected value so simply i will add the correct value now so if i rerun the test so this time again our test will pass so meanwhile let's check the second way of assertion so simply we have to use the selector followed by that we have to use the should method inside that we have to add the have dot text and we have to add the expected result so this is the second way of assertion in the cypress and if you see the test here so our test is test is getting passed so now let's see the second way of assertion in the cypress so once again i will identify the element so simply i will copy this particular line and then so here we have to use the should so insert the should so we have to add the two values so first one is have dot text and followed by that we have to add the expected value so simply i will copy the above value and i'll add it here and i have saved it 
So this is the second way of assertion in the Cypress test automation. Then I will go back to the test runner. Here I will rerun the test. So it is navigated to the web page and uh, and if you see the output here so firstly it is comparing by using the two equal method and second time it is comparing the actual and expected value by using the have dot text and if i add incorrect value inside the should method that is the expected value so our test will get failed so this time we are passing incorrect expected value in the should method so this time uh, our test will get failed so if i re-execute the test so it will fail in the second assertion so first assertion it will work fine in the second assertion it will get failed because actual and expected results are not matching and if you see here so this is the assertion error and here you can see that actual and the expected result so let's go to the vs code and here i'll say javascript by test stop so that's it i will rerun the test and if you see here so our test is running right now and eventually it will pass in within few seconds right if you look at the result also our test is getting passed now let's look at the third way of assertion in the cypress so simply we are using the contain keyword so I will copy the line number 11 and previously we have used a have dot text but this time we are using the just contain keyword so here I will add the contain keyword so that's it guys so right now we are passing the correct value in the expected result so this time our test will get passed and uh, also in the logs you can observe what type of assertion we have performed also so this time we are using the contain and if you see the output here so our test is getting passed and here you can see the contain we have used a contain keyword so right now we have specified correct value in the expected result so let's try to pass incorrect value in the expected so in this case it will not match the expected and actual value automatically assertion will be getting failed so I will rerun the test case once again. So first two assertions will be getting passed and it will get failed in the third assertion. And if you see here, so first assertion is working fine and second assertion is also working fine and it is getting failed in the third assertion. So that's a assertion error. And also you can see the expected and the ex sorry expected in the actual data over here so now i will pass the correct data over here so this time it will get passed so right now test is getting executed and uh, if you see here so all the three assertions are getting passed now now let's look at the fourth type of assertion in the cypress so firstly we are identifying the element and then we are using the should and we are using the be visible so in this case we are just checking the element is present or not if element is not present so our assertion will be getting failed and if element is present and it will get passed so i will copy the line number 13 once again so basically we are identifying the element by using the cs selector and then here i'll say should and inside the double quotes so here i'll say b dot visible so right now i'm passing the correct web element so it will find the web element and our test will get passed so let's run the test now and next time we will pass the incorrect selector in that case it it is unable to identify the web element and it will get failed and if you look at the result so all the four assertions are getting passed so now this time what i will do is so simply I will pass the incorrect web element. So I will rerun the test. So this time our, uh, our Cypress automation test will get failed in the fourth assertion. So first three assertions will get passed. And if you see here, so first three, three assertions are working fine. 
and it is getting filled in the fourth assertion. So in this case, we are checking element is present or not. If element is present, then our test will get passed. Otherwise, it will get failed. So I have modified the web element once again. And this time, all the four assertion will work fine. And if you see here, all the four assertions are working fine. And also, our test is getting passed. Now let's see the next type of assertion in the Cypress automation testing. That is have.html. So in, inside the should method, we have to pass the have.html. So let's uh, go to the VS code. So simply I will copy the line number 13 and uh, I will paste it here. And here we have to say have.html. So that's it. So firstly, we have specified the selector and by using the should method, we are comparing the actual and expected value. So this time our test will work fine. And if I execute the test, so all the five assertions will work fine and also our test will get passed. And if you see here, all the assertions are getting passed. And also here you can see that we have used a have HTML. And let's look at the next type of assertion. So here what we are doing is we are checking this particular element is having the this particular attribute or not. So now I will go to the web page and if you see here this particular HTML details DOM details. So it has the one attribute called value and that has the JavaScript by tester stock, right? So firstly, we are verifying this value attribute is there or not. In the second time, we are going to validate the this value attribute is having the JavaScript by tester stock or not. We are going to validate it. So let's check first whether value attribute is present or not. So I will go back to the once again VS code here. So simply I will copy the whole line once again. And I will come to the next line. And I will paste it here. And then I'm going to call to the one method called and inside the and. So here I'm adding the one keyword called have dot attr. And then we have to specify the attribute name. So simply I will add the have dot. So I will bring this particular statement down. So here I'll say have dot. ATTR and then I will specify the attribute name. So attribute name is value in our case. So this time just we are validating this particular web element is having the this particular attribute or not. So next time we will validate the this particular value attribute value also. So simply I will go back to the test runner and I will execute it. So this is the sixth type of assertion in the Cypress automation testing. And if you see the result here, our test is getting passed and all the assertions are working fine. And also you can see the last type of assertion. It is the have attribute. And similarly, so I will copy once again and we will assert the value of the value attribute. So here I'll say and and followed by that so I will go back to the syntax and if you see the example over here, so we are using the and method and inside that we are passing the include keyword and expected result. So here I will say and and then here we have to add the include and inside the include we have to specify the sorry here we have to pass the two parameters one is include keyword and then followed by that we have to add the expected result. So simply I will copy the expected result from the above line and I'll paste it here. In the line number 19, we are just validating the attribute. In the line number 22, we are validating the attribute and then also whether it contains the specified text message or not, we are validating it. So simply I will come back to the test runner and I will run the test once again. So now all the values are matching this time so all the tests are getting passed if you look at here last assertion so we have used a 
to include right so for example if i pass the incorrect data in the expected result in this case actual and expected value will be not matching and our test will get failed i'm rerunning this test so it will pass first set of assertions will be getting passed and it will fail in the last last assertion and if you see here all the assertions are working fine and it is getting failed over in the last last assertion now i will go back to the vs code and i will fix this issue so here i'll add the correct expected value in the and and include keyword and i will rerun the cypress test once again and this time all the assertions should get passed and if you see here our test is getting passed and also you can see the all the assertions are working fine now let's look at the last assertion type in the cypress test automation so in this case we are simply comparing the number of characters in the actual and expected value so it is very much similar to the first example right so here just we are calling two dot equal but in this case we are calling the two dot have dot length so here i will simply go to the vs code and i will copy the line number seven eight nine and then i will come back here and i'll paste it here and here what i'm doing is simply i will delete this part and here i'll say two dot have dot length so here we are comparing the number of characters present in the actual and expected result so if you count this javascript by tester stock including the spaces it has total 26 characters so this time our test will get passed so let me just cross verify the syntax so that's it guys now let's come back to the test runner so here i'm rerunning the test and uh, now this time all the expected and uh, actual values are matching so if you look at the test so our test is getting passed and if you see the last assertion we are using the have dot length right so basically we are comparing the number of characters in the actual and expected value so these are the different types of assertions we have in the cypress automation testing 